Okay, I'd like to make a cheeky apology for the way I look. I got off a flight and got home at 3am this morning. I'm not leaving the house and I had no real need to even get ready apart from the fact that I need to film this video. So yeah. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It feels so weird sitting down and talking to my camera like this because recently I've been vlogging so much. Like, I went to Nice last week and got back yesterday for when you're watching this. Um, I had the best time ever, I'm going to link all the vlogs in the down bar. But anyway, while I was there, or like the day that I, the night I left was my 16th birthday and when people found out that it was my birthday, as well as like the stupidly crazy amount of people that wished me happy birthday and I'm so thankful for that, everybody was like, film a birthday haul, film a birthday haul and because it was so requested and also because I'd planned to do it anyway, I'm here with a birthday haul, what I got for my birthday, 2015, my 16th birthday, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with my biggest present, the best present, like, yeah, and I got a MacBook Pro. Now, this is literally crazy. I never ever expected this. I'm so in love with this, like, this is my MacBook. My editing is hopefully going to get a lot better, and this is obviously crazy expensive, so this was an amazing present to get, like, I never expected it. I did ask for a laptop, but never in a million years did I think it would be this. So I'm so, so happy with this, like... Oh, my baby, so looking forward to my editing, like, editing is going to become so much easier. So that was obviously my main present, like, off my parents, that was my main present, obviously. Um, everything else that I got is, like, off other people or, like, little presents, so I'm just going to get on to everything else. I thought I'd start with that, so that that wasn't, like, right at the end, um, but yeah. Okay, so my main present off my grandma, which I'm in love with is the Naked and Decay Smoky Palette. This is off my grandma. I love this so much. It's upside down. Uh, this is just like really nice. It has a nice range of colours in it. It's got like a, I don't want to blind you, um, a really nice range of smoky colours. It's so, so lovely. You can do um, gold smoky eyes, grey smoky eyes. It's got a few matte colours. It's got a really nice highlight. I'm blinding you. I absolutely love this so, so much. Also off my mum and dad, I got these this set of Real Techniques brushes and this Real Techniques brush. Um, I have used both of these, but I did keep the package in so that I could film this video. This is the um, sculpting set. So these have three. It's a contour, highlight, and like a blusher brush. These are amazing. The contour brush in this is probably my favorite brush like ever. And then I got the powder brush as well because I didn't have a proper powder brush. I had a um, one from Primark. If you watch my makeup videos, you might have noticed that I like didn't do it with a proper brush. Now I have one. I'm so in love with these. Then off my friends, I got this Polaroid camera, um, it came in this box, obviously, yeah, and if you watch my birthday vlog you might have seen me opening it, but my friends all like put me together to get this, and I think that this is such a lovely idea, like this takes some amazing Polaroids, it's so so cute, like I absolutely love this so much, like I never expected them to get me something so lovely, because they know I really like cameras, and this is so cute, I've always looked at Polaroid cameras, and previously I do have Polaroids printed that I did myself. Um, but this is just amazing, I love it. So I'm just going to do general makeup now because I did get makeup off of like loads of different people. I'm just going to do makeup that I received. Again, off mum and dad, I got this Master Sculpt by Maybelline in the colour 002 Medium. Um, this I had Zoe rave about, which is kind of why I wanted it. But it comes with a highlight and I just love this so much. I'm wearing it now. Don't think you'll be able to see it on camera because I don't have a lot on. But I love this so much. This is the Maybelline one and heard such good reviews about it and I really needed a new contour and I love it. My friend Rachel, I got this um, Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter and this honestly has been something I've used every day. I took this to Nice with me and Erin, who I stayed with, like used it every day and was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna go home and get it. I love it so much. Like it's such a, it's like opal kind of tone. It's like got a really like nice opal tone to it. I just, oh, I love it so much. And it's really pigmented and super long lasting as well. Also off Rachel, as well as the highlighter, I got this Kate Moss lipstick in the color 37. I love this. Like this looks quite a brave, like it's like a pinkish red, a pink toned red kind of color. And I wore it while I was away and I love it. Like I was wearing black and gray and this just really brightened up the outfit. This is such a lovely color. Like love. Now this is something that I am so in love with I can't even stress. Now this was off my friend Katie which is obviously such an expensive gift to give for somebody's birthday like I would never have expected this and um, she got me this Burberry lipstick it came in this box like look at this 
and I need to get it out now. It comes in this and it's like diagonal and then you take it out and it's in another box and then it's opened like this and this lipstick honestly is so pretty. Like it's in this little black box. I don't know if you can see but it has the Burberry thing like this is matte black and then this is like shiny black and it's got the Burberry pattern and the colour of this like I'll do a close up but it has the Burberry pattern on it and you might remember in the summer Katie and I went shopping in Meta Hall and we went to the Burberry stand and the woman in there was like oh yeah you could get this one and the reason we were so attracted to this lipstick both of us is the fact that this is called Rosewood and Pretty Little Liars is set in Rosewood and at the time we were like oh freaking out and she actually went back and got it and that's crazy which just proves if those people address you in shops and like do you want to try on some stuff that actually works because we wouldn't have got it if that woman hadn't have been so like helpful so thank you very much Katie for this I'm literally I can't even stress just the box is like prettier than my life Katie also got me um this makeup bag which is the Zoella makeup bag with the little piece of pan collar I think this is super cute this is possibly my favorite makeup bag that Zoe has made because it's really small like I love her ones with the eyes on because they're really big but this this is like a, such a lovely colour it's like metallic blue and it's just the perfect size like this could be a pencil case I think that I bought myself for my birthday makeup wise um, and I did get this while I was in Nice Nice had a massive Sephora and I'd walked past it and I went in it every single day but I didn't buy something until the last day and I thought I'd got away with it and I was like yes well done my willpower has been great no I went in on the last day and I was like no I kind of need that in my life so I picked up this Urban Decay lipstick in the colour 1993 and somehow I have chipped it which really has annoyed me but it's like a brown, a matte brown colour which sounds really weird but it's so gorgeous when it's on like you'll probably see me wearing it in videos but the packaging for this is like twisted black and then it says Urban Decay in like engraved letters and oh I'm so in love and it came in this little box and Urban Decay is I think my favourite makeup brand. I'm so in love with it like Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to go through random other stuff that I got now. So also off my friend Liv as well as the eyeshadow. I got these pyjamas and these are Harry Potter ones which are from Primark and this says waiting for my letter from Hogwarts um, which I am. I mean it's running a little bit late. I'd be in fifth year by now but you know it's probably just lost in the post. And off my auntie and my uncle I got like the same set but the fluffy version and this is like uh and this says Hogwarts al alumni? I can't read. I don't know what it says, but this is so like, oh, it's just so soft. Do you know when you feel like really soft blankets? It's one of those in a fabric. And this came with matching bottoms with like stars on and it's just gonna look so cute in the middle of winter when it's freezing and you just wanna like watch a film. These are those clothes, I'm telling you. Go to Primark, pick them up. Even if you don't like Harry Potter, these are just the softest things ever. And off some viewers, some of you guys, I met you when I went to the Trafford Centre. No, I wasn't in the Trafford Centre. I was in the Dale Centre. When I was in the Dale Centre, I met Grace, Heather, oh god, Holly, mm, Ellie. Um, and these were off you guys. Um, and these were just some lush bath bombs, but I think this is such a, like, literally, when I'm, when you meet me in the street or when I, I see some of you, and it has, it's, it rarely happens, it's not like a regular occurrence, but the handful of times that I've met you guys in the street is like, it, it makes my day, it's so sweet. And the fact that you got me a birthday present is just the cutest thing ever. So this is Think Pink by Lush. I can't stress to you how much I love this smell. This was my first ever Lush bath bomb because I loved it so much. It's my first one I ever got. Love that. And then this one is Candy Mountain. I don't really get them out because they're all, you know. This is, I think only comes in at Christmas. I could be wrong. And this smells so nice. Like it's it's a bubble bath so you crumble it under the water. But I love those. So thank you so much to Grace and crew. Also off my mum and dad. I think this is the last thing off my mum and dad. I don't know. Um, I got this skirt. So basically you might have seen everybody wearing these. Because everybody owns one. Felt a little bit left out because I didn't have one. So I love it. And I got this in a size 6 and it's from New Look and no way on this planet am I a 6, like I'm an 8, but if you're thinking of picking one up from New Look, get a size below because they're quite big on the waist, um, but I love this. Something else I bought myself while I was in Nice, this is kind of like a Nice haul as well, um, was this skirt which I picked up in Hollister and it might look quite thin on the camera but this is also like a woolly skirt that you can wear with tights and boots in winter um, and it's got, has an elasticated waistband and it's like a line but something i love about this is the fact that it has zips like zip detailing and they are actual pockets like usually they don't open these are real pockets like i love it love a good pocket 
really really do and I also love the pattern of this and this was 18 euros from Hollister which is like 11 pounds which is amazing off Harvey's mum and stepdad they got me this really nice perfume which is uh, by Victor and Rolf Harvey has the Victor and Rolf like men version and this is the girl version and I can't even stress to you how pretty this is this is like a bow like a mini mouse bow like and I love this so much like it's sorry about that the battery just died um, but it's so strongly perfumed that you need like the tiniest amount and I really like this like I am really fussy with perfume smells but this is like honestly it's so nice um, I think this is really expensive though so like I don't know if you'd go in and buy this if you are on a budget but I'm so grateful for this like, this is so nice but just other like random stuff that I have left now Daisy, my friend Daisy got me this and you're probably thinking like what, what is that? Like this is a hedgehog, I think it's supposed to be a hedgehog and it's made out of recycled book paper, like recycled books and it's just so amazing and this is like a doorstop or like a little ornament and this like open, keeps your door open and looks super cute wherever it's sitting so I love it, in fact this needs a name, comment down below what we should call this little hedgehog. My cousin, I got this really nice set of body shop um, shower gels and like body scrubs and everything and this is in the scent Cocomania which is like chocolate scented and I could eat this. This is the body lotion version which comes in the tiny little thing and then this is the body scrub version and this actually looks edible like, shall I put it in my mouth? Oh, it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of hard to explain but off Erin I got a star which sounds really weird but basically if you weren't aware you can buy stars in the galaxy and name them after people and I don't have the like certificate now but I have this little thing and she gave it to me and I was a bit confused about what it was but basically I have a star named after me in the Draco galaxy is it Draco or Draco constellation or something like that and it she gave me this little like um tag that goes with it and it just says Molly Olivia Thompson, born on the 20th of October, 1999, Draco Malfoy, and then like, Dra not Draco Malfoy, <laughs> imagine if it said that, Draco Constellation, um, and then it just has like where it's positioned, and basically, I, I don't obviously know which star it is, but it's like, from the North Star, it's on the right, so I was like saying our oh, second star on the right, like Peter Pan, but I think that's just such a thoughtful gift, like, all of these presents that I've got are lovely, but this is like such a thoughtful present. I got loads and loads and loads of chocolate off various different people, but uh, the only one I have up here with me now is this one, which says happy birthday. This is off my friend Izzy, whose little sister is probably watching, so hey Lydia, if you're watching. Um, but this says happy birthday, this is just Thornton's chocolate, but this is representing all of the chocolate that I got, because I got so much chocolate. Um, but this is the only one in my room. And then off my godparents, I got this really nice set from Benefit that says Pucker Up and Party and there's two lip balms and two lipsticks in here, which is super cute. I haven't opened this and had a look yet, but I definitely am going to. It says the most kissable couple around. Wear hydrated tinted balms on bare lips for a sheer moisturising kiss of colour or pair with a lipstick or stain for lasting colour. Benefit has the like sassiest packaging, like I love it great righty i'm gonna do i got loads of books so i'm gonna do a quick book haul but i'm not gonna like summarize them all also i haven't read them so i don't know but off olivia to go with the other things i got dan and phil's book which is the amazing book it's not on fire very happy to finally own this i say finally it came out like a week ago um need to have a read of this haven't had a look yet but very very proud of dan and phil also got all the bright places which i saw in zoe's favorites like ages ago and really fancied reading it also it says zoe on the back it says this book is amazing, I couldn't put it down, Zoe Sug aka Zoella. Very excited to read that. I also got Will Grace and Will Grayson by John Green because I've read The Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, An Abundance of Catherines, Let It Snow. So I think this is the only one I haven't read. Um, and now I have this, so I'm very happy. I also got Louise's book, Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter. This is way smaller than I thought. Like I got hold of it, um, I went into a shop and I didn't really like think about it. I was just like, it's Louise's book, it looks amazing, I really need that in my life. And then I think this might have been off like, I'm not sure who this was off actually, but I'm so excited to read this. It kind of looks along the same lines of Love Tanya, um, but either way, I'm buzzing for that. And lastly, I got Girl Online on tour. Um, I got this, I pre ordered this in August when its pre order date was released, 
which means I have a signed edition. I have Zoe's signed signature thingy here, which I love. I've read like the first chapter of this, but I read it on the plane last night at like stupid o'clock and I don't really remember it, so I need to start it from the beginning. Um, but I love Girl Online and I'm so excited to start this one. Just something super cute off my other cousin, like I have loads of cousins that gave me gifts, so this is super cute and I think Tanya and Zoe have one of these as well. And this is one line a day for a year and this says, each page of this keepsake journal features a space to record the events of the same calendar date over the course of five years. As the pages fill, you'll discover happy coincidences and relive forgotten moments, adding unexpected joy to all your days and years. So basically, you just write a little summary of what you did that day and you do it the same day for five years and each time you can like flick back to see what you did that day a year ago. Like, I just think this is amazing and I can start this on my 16th birthday and that'll take me up to my 21st birthday. So it'll be like 16 to 21 and I just think that'll be, like they're some of the best years of your life and that's gonna be amazing. And I just think this is like, this is just such a lovely gift. The last thing, and I haven't like saved the best to last or anything, it's just in a random order, but the last thing I got was also off my godparents to go with the benefit thing. And this is a photo album, but it's like specifically for your 16th birthday. And I think that this is special because I just went to France, I can completely fill this with like what happened over my 16th birthday because not every day you fly out to Monte Carlo with your friends, is it? Like, just chilling and then it was my 16th birthday and it's been a crazy week, like this time last week, I wasn't even 16 when I'm filming this, and now I've been to France and Monte Carlo with my friends and I've got a MacBook and what has happened, and I hit 8,000 subscribers in the middle of all of that. And basically it's just crazy and I think this is such a nice way to record things. So that is everything I got, or most of the things. If you got me gifts and you're watching this and I haven't included it, it does not mean that I don't value it, it just means that I have so much stuff that I don't even know where to start and I have some amazing friends and amazing family that got me so many gifts so this is a disclaimer i am not boasting i'm not bragging i'm not being like haha look how much i've got for my birthday or like you might be like oh my god she hasn't got anything or you might be like oh she's got so much stuff like it's completely different for each person and i'm not trying to show off but i am so happy with everything that i got like just sitting in a pile next to me now so yeah if you've enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up this was so requested this is probably my most requested video like people have been requesting this since september I'm like, calm it, my birthday's not for ages. But yeah, give it a thumbs up, comment a name for the hedgehog, and I will see you all super duper soon. So bye guys! Prrr.